So in this um, screencast, I'm going to talk about how to use R to do lasso regression. Lasso is, uh, stands for Least Absolute Shrinkage and Selection Operator and is a regression analysis method that performs both variable selection and regularization. What Lasso does is force the sum of the absolute value of the coefficients to be less than a fixed value, which results in certain coefficients to be set to zero, effectively removing those variables from the model, making the model simpler and more interpretable. The regularization parameter lambda governs the degree to which the coefficients are penalized. We can perform Lasso and R easily using the GLM net package. The GLM net package can be installed like most packages in R, using install that package as a GLM net. Um, typing that into the console, and we can load the library uh, the usual way as well. So GLMNet actually performs elastic net regression, which is a combination of lasso and ridge regression. And ridge regression is a method that adds a quadratic part to the penalty. But we can constrain GLMNet to perform only lasso regression or, or only ridge regression by simply specifying the corresponding component of the penalty to, to be zero. And um, we'll see how to do that um, once we run through the example. So let's try out an example. So I've already loaded um, in my workspace data that uh, describes the health conditions of around 80,000 patients in this TrainX uh, matrix. So these are the, the patients on the, um, in the rows and the columns are the different health conditions. And I also have loaded um, a factor, so train Y is a factor with two levels, um, and each of the, the levels corresponds to whether each of these patients is a high-cost patient or not. So um, since we have a binary outcome variable distributed along the binomial distribution, we want to use um, logistic regression. And thankfully, GLMNet um, has implement, implemented um, Lasso uh, for um, logistic regression, so we would choose binomial. Um, as the family. So to select the best regularization parameter lambda, we can use the uh, CV method of the G of GLMNet, and um, we pass in the input matrix, um, the uh, outcome variable, um, which is a, a factor since there's two levels. Um, we specify a binomial family of uh, the distribution uh, of the outcome variable. And uh, type dot measure equals class means that within our class validation, uh, we're using misclassification error to select the best uh, lambda value. Um, alpha equals one is uh, what um, I was referring to earlier. So alpha is the elastic uh, elastic net uh, mixing parameter. Um, and this determines the relative weight to give to ridge regression penalty versus lasso penalty. So alpha equals one means that we're doing uh, lasso regression. And also uh, n lambda equals 100 uh, means that we're running through uh, 100 lambda values um, uh, uh, in, in the cross-validation. Um, so we can, I've already run this command um, earlier and gotten this object um, as output. Um, I won't do it again because it takes um, maybe three minutes to perform um, because of the size of the data set. Um, but I can plot, uh, use the, the plot method on this to produce this plot, which shows um, the different lambda values that have been tried and uh, the misclassification error uh, that, that corresponds to each one. So uh, what GLMNet has, uh, CV.GLMNet has done is highlighted two um, lambda values. So this lambda value corresponds to the, the model that gives the minimum misclassification error, and this is the uh, most highly regularized model uh, that's still within one standard error of the this this minimal error model. Um, so we can fit the model uh, by using just the plain GLMNet function, using the same uh, passing the same inputs, um, with the exception that now we specify the lambda value that we that this uh, CV uh, procedure has identified. So um, lambda one. Uh, dot 1SE corresponds to, to this particular lambda value. So if we run this, 
just takes a, a couple seconds to run, um, we can see the coefficients that have been fit. So we see that um, lasso has set uh, a bunch of the coefficients to be zero and um, a bunch of the coefficients to be uh, uh, particular values. So um, thus we've uh, been successful in uh, selecting variables and constructing a um, logistic regression model. And more examples uh, can be found at this website using the GLMNet um, using the GLMNet package, um, and you can see there's examples on uh, Cox regression and uh, other types of regression analysis and um, a bunch of the different things you can do with the um, this particular package. You can see there's a lot of stuff we didn't get into. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this was helpful.